the um, the first the first branch right here is depicted in this little scenario here. And of course, you have that. Um, first of all, if you sort of like look at the next page while you're looking at this page, you'll see. Oh, here is the long um, aorta, and it's descending abdominal, you know, presentation right up against the back of the abdominal cavity, and it's going to branch into the pelvis. You can see the pelvic rim right there, and it's going to branch at the end, right into the pelvis. It's going to be the internal iliac, common iliac arteries, rather, and. Um, so before it branches, it has these anterior big things that come off of it. Okay, so the first big branch of the aorta under the diaphragm is going to be the slight trunk. It's going to branch into three branches. Now I'm going to pull out something for you very quickly uh, before the end of this so you can have a chance to look at it. Um, so the uh, notice that the three branches are the left gastric, the splenic, and the common hepatic. And so as you're coming along here, you'll notice, oh, here's the left gastric. And here's the splenic. It's going to, the stomach is, is right here, the fundus of the stomach. And then the spleen is like a little beanie right there on the, um, on the stomach, the fundus. And so we have the flow, the splenic artery, the left gastric. It actually becomes the right gastric. And that's because it's the collateral circulation here that hooks up with the common hepatic. So as you're coming out the common hepatic, the first branch is the right gastric. The second branch is the gastroduodenal. And then after the gastroduodenal, we have this right gastroepiploic. So that's coming around the bottom of the stomach. All right, so we have the lesser and the greater curvature of the stomach. And over here on the splenic, we have a branch as well for the stomach, and that's going to be the left uh, gastroepiploic, and that's coming down this way, and then we'll meet up and we'll have collateral circulation. Okay? So then, um, obviously, this would go down to the duodenum, and the book has decided to um, spare you um, more things to learn, so I won't go there either. So then after the, um, the celiac trunk, then we have a couple of more branches as we're coming down the front. Let's take a look at that. 